This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning. I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Albert Whale, who is a cybersecurity expert from the North Hills here in Pittsburgh and has recently written a book. Albert, show us the book. Oh, called, here it is. There Hashtag it is. hacks. Hashtag hacks. And I very much wanted you on the show today because last week we reported on farmers being subjected to ransomware attacks. And it occurred to me that maybe all of us are potential victims. How bad is it these days? Well, you know, as long as you're looking in the network and trying to find activities that are unusual, it's not so bad. Um, but we're finding that a lot of companies are not doing annual assessments as much as they should be. Um, normally, cybersecurity professionals recommend a security audit for businesses within 30 days of making a network change, which seems to happen more frequently than they're realizing. What about the average person out there? I'm on the computer every single day, either via my phone or my desktop or a laptop. Right. Do I need to worry about being hacked and maybe having information not just stolen, but, but this ransomware really bothers me? Well, so ransomware really bothers you because you see the problem where you cannot get your data or access to your computers. But what's worse is being hashtag hacked and not knowing it. And that's the problem because, you know, we're looking at devices that are persistently connected like these iPhones and Android phones and tablets and computers. Oh, my always being connected to the internet. I mean, it used to be that we would disable them and shut them off because we had modems connected through telephone lines. I, I'm pretty sure that you might remember those days, but sure. you know, those are long past. Now everyone's connected to the internet 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even while you're sleeping. So do you have some tips for us? We only have a couple minutes on what we might be able to do to protect ourselves as, as individuals. Absolutely. Um, the book, Hashtag Hack, has 10 tips inside. I'm going to read a few of them. Um, there are more tips on the hackbook.com. You can sign up and get some free tips before you read the book. But the book actually goes further into determining whether or not you have a breach or you have stolen data or identity theft things of that nature. So one of the tips that I give in the book is don't use public Wi-Fi. And you might, it might not be obvious to everybody, but you know, public Wi-Fi is not necessarily safe, okay? Some of the public Wi-Fi comes with an encryption key and some does not. But the problem with Wi-Fi is it's not a real secure resource and it's easy to mimic Wi-Fi that looks like your home. How about a second tip? Sure. Let's go with um, make use of two-factor authentication whenever possible, okay? And if you're downloading apps onto your um, phone, if you haven't used an app for more than six months, take it off, delete it, because it provides additional access to attackers that maybe wrote the application. That's good advice, very good advice. And we've got about 20 seconds. Give us a third tip. Um, when you do install, oh, don't click on free offers or gifts via text because you don't know where they're coming from and where they're going to lead you as well. You mean a text notice of some sort as opposed a text, to email? A text message. You don't know where it came from, nor where is it going to. And, you know, since you can't see the hack in the internet, happening to you, you don't know who it is sending you the text. Well, Albert, Albert Whale, who is one of our region's uh, security, cybersecurity experts, thank you, sir, very much for being with us this Sunday morning and sharing your thoughts. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate being on your show. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Hey, everybody.